All right, everybody. Thank you so much for your patience and really appreciate you guys all jumping on the call today. We got a really uh, exciting topic to talk about, which is brokerment and the new integration with Google Sheets, which is really, really powerful. So we're going to dig into that today. I'm actually joined here uh, with Tyler. Thanks for, for jumping in here today, Tyler. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Daniel. Yeah, no problem. So really, like I said, really exciting topic that we want to jump into today. So kind of high level agenda, what we're going to be talking about with um, today on the topic is Brokerman, of course, and, and Google Sheets and how you can pair these two products to do some really powerful stuff to understand your bottom line more efficiently. So we're going to talk about automatic backups, the ability for you as a business owner to get into Google Sheets and start getting creative with your data trying new things, trying new um, marketing channels and understanding where you're investing money and where you're getting and reaping rewards on that. And then we'll also talk about um, the integration itself and a really cool offer that's uh, going to be offered for everybody in attendance today. So we, we're definitely we're going to open it up for questions. Um, we'll be addressing those as, as we can get to them just out of respect for everybody's time on the call today. Let's just keep the, uh, the questions geared towards the topic of the, the conversation. And for those that, of you that we're not able to get to, we'll have a team member reaching out to you personally, personally to, uh, to cover your question. So when you talk about broker men as a platform, you know, it's, there's a lot of buzzwords out there, but transaction management one is one, back office is one. And if you really blend those two together, that's what broker men is. If you look at a standard transaction and the amount of hands it could potentially touch and the amount of different tools that are typically utilized to process one deal, it, it come, becomes kind of overwhelming and you end up having your agents and your staff using different tools and there's just no continuity there. So what Brokerment really does as a platform is try to automate as many steps as possible, whether that's pulling in data from your MLS to simplify the agent's process or staff's process, whether that's automating your commissions, whether that's integrating with other tools like CRM so you can get valuable data into Brokerment, or pushing info out to other tools like accounting tools like QuickBooks. So at the end of the day, you know, our system is designed to save you guys time and really it's all about scaling your business and by having these good tools and processes in place that's exactly what you're able to do when you like i said there's a couple of buzzwords out there like transaction management back office if you really think about a brokerman is really a combination of the two where again you have your agents and your staff in one system so not only can you end up saving some money but again it's more continuity and everybody's really on the same page big value for your staff in particular is more visibility on the day-to-day operations of what's going on with agents and their progress on deals. Um, you know, Tyler's joined with us with API Nation and they host a lot of really powerful integrations for us uh, currently. And here's you know, a list of some of the ones that we have a lot of our clients taken advantage of. Again, whether it's CRMs, accounting tools, some corporate products for reporting purposes. Um, so when you need to link tools to your transaction management or back office, Brokerman is a very, very good solution for that. So what we're gonna do really quickly is just kind of jump into Brokerman really high level and just kind of give you guys a, a, a brief kind of window of what Brokerman, is, what Brokerman really does. The biggest difference when I have conversations with team leaders and brokers every single day is, in my opinion, the agent's experience in a system because there's a lot of good tools out there that focus on transaction management, but they don't focus on financial information. At the end of the day, agents are trying to make money. So the more you have this, their numbers in front of them, the better it is, not only for the agent, because they're not relying on themselves to track this info, and they're also not pestering your staff of, hey, where am I at? When do I need to hit a cap? So for agents, there's um, the dashboard, which is a great tool for them, just understanding their book of business month to month. There's other great tools like the pipeline, which is a very easy way for your staff, as well as the individual agent to understand their book of business or the entire company's book of business. Brokerman also does some really powerful stuff with commissions. And so what I've found in the, the time doing this is that brokers do tend to keep commission plans kind of simple because they don't have the time to invest to track the stuff on the back end. So in Brokerman, you can get very creative with capped commission plans based on different metrics like GCI, sales volume, company dollar, and then also in, uh, including your deductions. So again, all of this is automated. We know this is a standard um, commission split for that deal, 
the system still gives you the flexibility to go in and make adjustments when need be uh, with commissions. Obviously, deals are pretty fluid financially, so you always have the ability to come in and add deductions or make adjustments to the agent's or the house's commission. One of the other helpful tools here is the ability to automate things like generating a commission demand or disbursement form. So you're not investing a lot of time doing manual work here and you're simplifying the process. Um, so really when you talk about managing a transaction, Brokerman can handle it from contract to close. One of the really interesting things about uh, the conversation today is Brokerman offers reporting. We have a lot of really useful reports. And for those that have used the system, um, you know that there's also the ability to build custom reports. So you can get creative, but you know, people tend to be pretty visual and that's really what this integration today is all about is having some visual understanding of your book of business and also getting really creative with your data that exists in Brokerman and getting it automatically into Google Sheets. So uh, Tyler, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pass the baton to you here. Fantastic. Thank you, Daniel. Absolutely. Yeah, perfect. And that is incredibly well said. I mean, it never ceases to amaze me uh, the things that Brokerman can do, especially with that commission management. It's uh, such an incredibly powerful tool. Um, and, uh, and what we love to do at API Nation is we love to make uh, Brokerman even more powerful by enabling all those integrations that Daniel was showing you just a moment ago. Um, that's what we do. You know, we're all about connecting apps and automating processes to give you that edge that'll fuel growth for your brokerage and, uh, and really just accelerate the progress for your team and uh, your, your office. Um, perfect. And uh, if you could go to the next slide, please. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Uh, so like I was saying, you know, we are all about uh, connecting, automating your processes, uh, but specifically in the real estate industry. Uh, we have a, a huge background in real estate and all of our sinks are specifically built for agents, for brokerages, so that all of the configuration and options that will really enable these automations for your team are not something that you know your admin has to fiddle with or that you have to hire a team for. You know, that's how we design our products is with agents and brokers in mind. First, you know, we have a motto, uh, don't be a robot, build a robot. Uh, and, uh, and we really try to embody that and help you guys get back out in the field and, and really close those deals. Um, there we go. And, uh, and so like Daniel was saying, we have uh, some of the most popular integrations with Brokerman are done through API Nation. That includes our QuickBooks Online integration, our Google Calendar integration, um, some really awesome upcoming syncs, stuff like Lion Desk and Brokerman integration, which just came out recently. We're getting fantastic feedback on. And today, uh, like we've spoken about, we're here to talk to you about the Brokerman and Google Sheets integration. Uh, and there are some really, really cool things that you can do with the Brokerman and Google Sheets integration. Uh, one of which uh, is to back up your information. Uh, another is to, uh, you know, really just get all that data into a spreadsheet so that you can have a sandbox, have a place that you can work on things and, uh, and kind of experiment. And that's why we call it the perfect lab. Um, you know, you have probably got all of your reports in Brokerman set up in a way that really runs your business well. Uh, and we know that you've fine tuned those reports in Brokerman to, to give your team uh, useful information at a glance. And if there are some, some experiments you want to run, some things that may or may not be useful and you really just want to find out, uh, this is the perfect place to go run those experiments, see how everything is going to go. And then if it does work out, get that information back into Brokerman with the report, generate a couple of charts and graphs to really get visual about it, uh, really show the team at a glance how everything looks. And, uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how you can do that using this integration. Uh, oh, and, uh, and just for you guys, uh, we've got this special on the integration. Uh, you may have just seen that. I'll kick back. Oh, perfect. Um, where instead of $25 a month, we've got a webinar special, $10 a month for you guys. We wanna really make sure that uh, this is uh, something that you can get onto today and is a no brainer for you guys. So for the next 30 days, if you sign up, this sync is $10 a month for you guys forever. Uh, as long as you keep it on, you'll keep paying that $10 per month as long as you sign up in the next 30 days. Um, so really what we talk about when we're talking about a, a backup from Brokerman to Google Sheets is that 
the way the API Nation integration works is the sync updates every 15 minutes, all day, every day. So you never have to worry about hitting a save button, going into a file and exporting your transactions, uh, importing anything or, or any of that. Uh, whenever you open your Google Sheet that's sitting in your Google Drive account, uh, you'll see it full with the latest brokerman data with all of the changes that have come through and, uh, and it'll be an exact mirror of what you've done in brokerment. Uh, and this is something that you know our agents find a whole lot of value in, especially with things like compliance uh, and being able to uh, just have that peace of mind at the end of the day. Um, and uh, and the I think one of the most powerful things that having this data in a spreadsheet does for you is it gives you all of those little quality of life uh, abilities that really make spreadsheets shine. Uh, some of the best work is still done on the back of a napkin, right? And uh, these quick prototypes can come through uh, just in, you know, the blink of an eye with that essential data right in your hands. And, uh, and that's why, you know, brokers and agents want to see this kind of stuff filled into a spreadsheet. Uh, it's super comfortable. It's super easy. You can make your pivot tables. You can make your filters. You can sort the data however you want. And, uh, and really, just as soon as you want to get any kind of insight into your information, uh, it's right there. And, um, and really kind of, going off of that is is you can start to experiment so it's not just about you know being able to find the data that you're looking for but also getting some insights that you don't even really know you're looking for by setting up a couple of really simple charts and graphs that will tell you things about your revenue tell you things about your your performance and the performance of your team and really help you to make smart decisions around what everybody is doing So here's just a quick little insight into what this spreadsheet looks like and a couple of things that you'll be able to do. Uh, you'll be able to sort, filter, uh, go ahead and, and find little slices of that information that you're really looking for that are going to enable your brokerage, uh, again, to really just, just do some better work and close more deals. Um, one of the, the really cool things that this integration allows for as well is you can start to blend data from multiple sources. And so I'll show you a little bit about what we mean when we say that. Um, uh, but first, before I move forward, I would love to uh, open up a quick poll um, and just find out, you know, we're talking about all these charts and graphs. Uh, how many of you do consider yourselves visual learners? You know, how many of you uh, learn better when you're looking at those images, those charts and graphs? Um, so I'll give you guys a, a quick second to go ahead and, uh, and fill in the poll there. And, uh, and while you're doing that, I'll go ahead and start to move on to this, this idea of blended data. Um, when we've got all this data coming out of Brokerment and we've got all the data coming out of other platforms, let's say our CRM like LionDesk or, or a lead source like Facebook, uh, we can pump all that data into one data source, maybe a couple of Google Sheets that all go through to a, a single reporting tool. And the reporting tool that we have here on the screen that you're looking at is the Google Data Studio tool. And this is something where you can sync up multiple Google Sheets. You can uh, cross-reference them against each other, pull all that data in through some really cool reports and graphs. And at the end of the day, you'll be able to see things about your entire pipeline, your entire, entire funnel that you wouldn't just be able to see from one source at any given point in time. Uh, and what we're happy to do is We've actually got a great Google Data Studio template for you guys. We're gonna make sure that that goes out with all the notes at the end of the webinar that you can plug your brokerment Google Sheet into, plug your other data sources into, and you can start to see a couple of really cool insights and metrics into how your performance is doing. And so with that, I would love to go ahead and show you guys real quick what it means to, uh, to set up with API Nation. It's super fast and easy. Um, right here, I've got a broker mint set up on my screen. So if you're in your broker mint account and on the left-hand side, you go to the add-on section, you'll be able to see all of these fantastic integrations that broker mint has set up for, uh, for you guys. And uh, many of these are run through API Nation, uh, including uh, like we mentioned before, the Lion Desk, the QuickBooks Online Sync and the Google Sheets integration. So if you find Google Sheets down here and you click on it, you'll be able to find this button that'll say uh, configure. And when you click on that, it'll bring you through to API Nation where you will be asked to connect your Google Sheets account. And a couple of things just happened re uh, here real quick. So first, we were able to log into API Nation and connect your brokerman account. 
Um, that was all automatic from the moment that we pushed the button. But not only did we create that connection to Brokerman, we also set you up with your own API Nation account that uses your Brokerman account as a login. So you're logged into API Nation, you've got Brokerman connected already, and really the last step is to connect Google Sheets and to start the sync. Um, and so when we talk about making this as easy as possible to get to your reporting and get to your insights, we really mean it. You know, we just want it to be a click of a couple of buttons in order for you guys to get through and start seeing this data from Brokerman into that Google Sheet so you can build those charts and graphs, you can start to get those insights and really explore. Um, so here we have the workflow page that's ready to start. I can click this play button at the top here, but first I wanna check on a couple of settings. Um, if this is the first time I've ever run the sync, I probably wanna get all my data on all of my historical transactions. And so there's a checkbox right here at the bottom that allows us to sync all our transactions the first time the sync runs. So I'll select that and I'll click save. We also have the option to update the name of the spreadsheet that we want to create. And by default, it will be called Brokerment Transactions. I'm going to leave that as the default there, but if you guys wanted to call it anything else, that option is up for you. And finally, we have the mapping of all this Brokerment data, and you guys can just see how many fields we're pulling out of Brokerment, all of this useful data that you'll be able to run reports on, you'll be able to check on, uh, really do anything with once you have it in Google Sheets. And, and that's what we love about it as a place to experiment, a place, a sandbox that you can go to, to really just dig into this stuff and, and see how it's doing. Um, and so I'll go ahead and start this here. And once I've hit that play button, you'll see uh, every 10 minutes, this data is going to be pulling from Brokerman, uh, new updated data, the stuff that your agents are working on right now, today, is going to be up to date in this spreadsheet. I'll go ahead and show you exactly what that spreadsheet looks like. And you can see, We've got uh, tons of transactions, uh, tons of data that's, that's really, really important for, uh, for generating these insights. And, and finally, you know, speaking about those insights, I mentioned that we have a template for you guys. We have this Google Data Studio report, and we'll be sending out a template. Now, uh, this one works off of that blended data that we mentioned to you in the past. You know, we've pumped in some CRMs and some lead sources into here as well to give you guys an idea of what's possible. And we'll make sure the template that we send over your way has clear instructions about how you can do that as well, but also just works with your Brokerment data if you just want to use that, that single sheet. And, uh, and, you know, this is some really important stuff. Uh, it's really just impressive and fantastic. And so I'm uh, super happy to be able to bring this to you guys. Um, and with that, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll bring the share back to the presentation. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was really well put. And we, you, we ran through the poll question and it was pretty apparent, you know, it was like 98% of everybody is, is a visual learner. So I was going to leave with you guys with another question here of like, how could that really improve your bottom line and versus a poll? Now it's kind of an opportunity to like, how, what kind of data do you have and what can you do with it? You know, I think with the visuals, Tyler just explained that this is some really powerful stuff. Um, and we really appreciate you guys, you know, attending today. Uh, as Tyler mentioned, they're they're doing a really cool promo where that this integration it's sixty percent off um, if you get it started in the next thirty days, and so you're locked in at that ten dollars a month, which is which is really cool of you guys to do that. So we thank you, we thank you for that, Tyler. Absolutely. And then we really appreciate all you guys in attendance, and I know not all your colleagues and, and partners have that ability. So we'll be sending you guys a recording of this webinar as well as the Google Data Studio uh, information that Tyler had mentioned and some additional collateral. And if you guys have any, you know, more specific questions, um, we really encourage you guys to reach out to us. We're happy to chat. You know, Tyler's a wealth of knowledge when it comes to this integration. Um, so yeah, you know, feel free to reach out to us. And we did have one question. I just want to jump on it real quick. And uh, yeah, good question. So I'm assuming this will pull information from all offices. So really good question because a lot of companies we work with, they do have multiple offices. Uh, Tyler, I, I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say the answer to that is yes, uh, unless you disagree with me. No, that's right. Yeah, you can pull information <laughs> from all your offices. Yeah, so really powerful. And um, yeah, I really, this is very exciting. Um, for you, for those of you I haven't spoken with or talked with, I talk to a lot of brokers uh, every day of the week, and this is something that people ask about. And so I think there's a lot of power, a lot of power behind this to help you guys improve your bottom line and and get creative ultimately. So great. Well, Tyler, thanks again. Um, I appreciate everything. I appreciate the time, and uh, thank you again to everybody that attended.
Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much, Daniel. I appreciate it. Likewise. You guys have a good rest of the day and thanks again.